Hey everybody, this is Jace with WMPowerUser.com and we just received this Continuum Display Dock uh, today and we wanted to give you an unboxing to see what's in the box and also give you just a small quick demo of Continuum on our Lumia 950. Now jumping right into this, I will point out there is adhesive at the top but I've cut it, you don't need to see me watching or cutting uh, some adhesive off the top but you can see right here uh, the display dark right in the top covered with plastic as you'd expect and feeling it um, it feels rather weighty and I kind of like that it almost feels like a paperweight um, which I can imagine would come in useful when um, when it's sitting on the side of your desk maybe you're using it as a secondary uh, to your existing display uh, on your computer and with this I would anticipate it's not going to slide off of your desk so I really really like that it feels it feels really good. It sounds stupid, but I like it. So jumping right in, we'll pull this wrapping off here. Um, obviously, this is showing us our USB Type-C area connection where we're supposed to connect that. The bottom is rubberized, so again, that'll lend itself to not sliding off of your off of the um, the side of your desk or your table wherever you happen to work. Uh, so there's our Type-C, and obviously we have three additional USB ports, a full-size Display Port. HDMI and power for the dock. Yes, the dock does need to be powered, um, which is uh, altogether not surprising at all. But again, gosh, I really like the feel of, uh, of the dock in your hand, which again, it sounds stupid, but I like it. It feels substantial. Now getting into the more, more of the details of the box here. Uh, this comes with a USB Type-C to Type-C cable. So that's nice. You don't have to go and try and find one of those. Trust me, I've been around town all week looking for different type of USB type adapters and I'll tell you um, this is a new standard they're not uh, as readily available as uh, as you know micro USB or even mini USB they're a little bit harder to come by I've actually had to order an adapter cable or two because there's some other things that we want to try out that we're going to bring to you in later videos the other thing that you're going to get here is um, a power power cable which is also USB type C that you'll notice there so uh, if nothing else gosh you get an additional power charger as well so with what's included with the 950 and the 950 XL they come with a fast charger and additional USB type C cable you're gonna have this charger or charger slash power source for your continuum dock but you also get this type C to type C cable as well so that's it for what's in the box now I'm gonna get this all hooked up and uh, when we get back I'm gonna give you just a small quick walkthrough of continuum all right, so now I've got the Continuum dock all set up here. Now, a little disclaimer, this is not my usual monitor. Uh, you can see my monitors in the back here. However, they are a little antiquated and don't have HDMI ports. So I brought my TV down from my bedroom to show you guys the dock. You're welcome. So let's get right into Continuum. First off, you'll notice that this dock automatically launches Continuum um, when I connect my device and unlock it. You'll also notice that I'm using my universal Bluetooth keyboard and I've foregone my Surface Edition Arc mouse and went with the older, uh, more well-traveled USB style edition. I did it on purpose to show that yes, Continuum Dock does work with just about anything, any USB device you want to plug into it, but that's not to say that you can only use Continuum with a mouse and keyboard. In the Continuum application on the device, you'll notice that a virtual touchpad is on the screen that allows me to control the mouse, complete with multi-touch gestures for scrolling. Now, here you'll notice that I've got the USB dongle for my mouse, a 16 gig jump drive, and a one terabyte Western Digital external hard drive plugged into the back of the dock, and they all work. Now, while Continuum doesn't have the traditional file explorer of Windows 10, you can use the built-in file explorer in Windows 10 Mobile to browse files, which I'll say doesn't have the learning curve that was present in the Metro-style file explorer in Windows 8 and 8.1. In fact, I really wish that this was a file explorer that had been included in 8.8.1. It's fantastic. You can copy and paste files to other locations and you can also view files on your hard drive. You can see here I've got several edited photos that I took at my motocross track this year uh, during a race. 
when I click on a file it loads the photos application just like you'd expect in Windows 10 on the right side you'll notice it does vary from a traditional desktop just a little bit no date or time in the lower corner or programs in the dock but the notification panel should look familiar save for the quick action tiles being at the top like a phone instead of at the bottom it more or less looks and functions exactly the same as a notification center on a PC Cortana is also present on the left side of the taskbar along with the task switcher. One thing to note is that snapping applications side by side is not possible with Continuum. Now, if you read our review, you'll know that Continuum is not capable of running any and all apps you have installed on your device. Applications have to be universal Windows applications. That's to say, apps that share the same coding between a full-blown PC and Windows Mobile in order to run in Continuum. So Facebook, Twitter, SixTag, Netflix, those apps don't run in Continuum. You can see I can still launch them on my phone and I can use them like normal without interrupting my Continuum experience. But I can't launch them in Continuum. Microsoft has said that this is a limitation they're working on. What does that mean exactly? We still don't know. It could mean that Microsoft is working on supporting non-universal apps in Continuum via some type of experience similar to the Project My Screen application. It could also mean that they're simply trying to persuade developers to recode and re-release their apps as universal applications. I guess we'll probably find out in the next couple months. That being said, it doesn't mean that you're up the river as far as Facebook and Netflix are concerned. You'll notice that I'm in the web browser now and Facebook looks just like it does on a full-blown Windows 10 PC. This is not a mobile version of the website. The same is true for Netflix. In fact, you can even stream Netflix through the web browser. So in that way, you can still have a full and one could argue more complete experience with Facebook, Twitter, and Netflix via the web browser. Now, core applications like mail, messaging, phone, Groove Music, and more are all universal applications. If you've been keeping up with the Windows Insider preview builds and are currently on the 2015 fall update, you'll know that this is something that Microsoft has been working on for a long time. So if I launch Groove, for example, you'll see that it looks very similar to the experience on a PC. I can play music, search for artists, and even download new content in the store. The last thing I want to take you through in Continuum is a little bit of Office. So if I launch Microsoft Word, you can see it should look very familiar. While it's not quite as fully featured as Office 2016, it's more than enough to be getting along with. Formatting, inserting tables, and other features are here, which, let's be honest, that's about all that 90% of people use anyway. You'll also notice that keyboard shortcuts are very effective. Control X to cut, Control V to paste, and yes, even Control P to print work in Word and Continuum. All right, so that's our look at Continuum and the Continuum dock. While it does have its hangups, we feel like Continuum is laying the groundwork for a really cool experience on Windows 10 Mobile. And given the right circumstances, this could be a ridiculously useful feature. As always, make sure you stay tuned into WMPowerUser.com for the latest in Windows Mobile news, and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.